Good afternoon. The Prime Minister is trying to settle a row that threatens to mar today's launch of the single European currency. Mr Blair is chairing the Brussels summit of EU heads of government who are expected to give the final go-ahead this afternoon for monetary union between most member states. But there's a damaging dispute over who should become president of Europe's new central bank. An historic vote on an historic day. The European Parliament voted overwhelmingly in favour of launching the new single currency with 11 member countries. Amidst much euphoria, the Monetary Union project, which will cover much of the continent, is now a step closer to becoming reality. But Britain, which currently holds the EU presidency, said today it would only join if membership was clearly and unambiguously in its interests. But the message to Euro MPs from the government was generally encouraging. Our ambition, by creating a single currency of the countries of Europe today, is to create greater employment and prosperity for the peoples of Europe tomorrow. But a bitter dispute over the running of monetary union is threatening to spoil the celebratory mood. EU leaders are trying to appoint the head of the new central bank, which will set Europe-wide interest rates. Both Holland and France have put forward candidates, neither country is willing to back down. The Prime Minister is leading the search for a compromise. Success isn't yet guaranteed. In Northern Ireland, the Protestant Orange Order has urged its members to vote no in the referendum on the proposals for peace. The order says it made its decision after Tony Blair refused to meet them. But Downing Street denied this and said that a meeting was being arranged for next week. Orange Order leaders had already voiced their fears over the Good Friday Agreement. After weeks of consideration, those doubts turned to outright opposition. Today's statement urges the people of Northern Ireland to reject the deal on May the 22nd. An Orange Order claim that the Prime Minister had ignored a request for talks was denied today by Downing Street and the two sides may well meet next week. We will certainly listen to the Prime Minister. We will consider what he has to say. Uh, if uh, he tells us uh, something that will change our mind, then I'm quite sure the members of the Grand Lounge Lodge of Ireland will take all aspects of his comments into account. Today's statement puts renewed pressure on unionist leaders like David Trimble, who support the agreement. But they're certain to claim their views are much more representative of popular unionist opinion.